Dark Smash, right? Dark yeah. Smash. Welcome back to Chaos. Let's search the day. We are, uh... It is, yeah. German style ale. Next, I suppose, would be... Uh... Baharash. Baharash, yes. yes. How close are we to the T-Rex again? Close enough. We gotta move <laughs> a bit to be able to get to... We need some kind of, like, it. scale here. I have to move a bit? <clears throat> I thought you said he was only like a hundred feet away. No, no, no. Uh, he's the T Rex. Right. The T Rex is about a hundred feet away from like Raziel. Oh. He's about three. Oh. He's three or four hundred feet away from, from you guys oh. as as you're moving forward. Well, then he'll move forty four thirty feet and he'll shoot his crossbow. Okay. Oh, where's my thing? Good deal. Fourteen to hit. That's a hit. Fourteen, well, is, 14 is a hit. Yeah. He told us that one. Yeah, no, that's, that's why I say it was a hit. Yeah, Thea's gonna kind of come out of the five. The storefront. Let's do five around the uh, Sorry, well, around this time and see that and start rounding up. Okay, five damage though. Troops. Five damage. Okay, okay. gotcha. <clears throat> Perk. Gonna double move forward. How far away is he? He's gonna need to move a couple of rounds before he. Seriously? Yeah. It's, it's about a. Is that far away? No. Oh, well, Three hundred feet from us. Yeah. So it's gonna be two. I still know how far I went. So. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah, so it's gonna be. Two, it's gonna be a couple of rounds. He is gonna move forward though, like like the T Rex is. Mm -hmm. several how Good. how far can the T Rex move? Fifty feet. Oh. I'm assuming it's gonna go the way the attacks are coming. Yeah. So if Herc moved one toward the direction that the T Rex is going to move, and then held his attack, would he be able to attack after the T Rex moves and hit it? Mm, maybe the following round, because the T Rex won't be close enough yet. All right. Well, just double move to where he can get close enough to attack the T Rex. Okay. Okay. Cool. Razio. Um, you see the big old T-Rex spawn right next to Rand and Bark. Um, you're chaotic, good. Oh, before you move on to the next turn, uh, I want to know if you need to roll a constitution check for uh, Salazar <coughs> for fear. Because he's invisible and he just got hit with an arrow. From nowhere. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> mm, that's fair. He's already running, but... Yeah, still, I mean. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. I mean, he he knows that that's bad. I mean, I just don't want to know if it was paralyzing for your That's all. No. no. I mean, because I'd be scared as fuck if I thought yeah. I was invisible and I got hit with an arrow anyway. Mm -hmm. Uh, Raziel. Um. Raziel freaks out and then fires his longbow at the T Rex from exactly where he is. Okay. Jesus Christ, that died. That's a hit, though. That's 15 a hit. plus 9. So that's, that's a hit. That's definitely a hit. Yeah. And then... Rolling over a 13. That's a hit. Plus 10. 10. 10 damage. Okay. Excellent. And then he stays exactly where he is. Right. right also, uh... I'm going to ask you. Uh... Is it just Salazar that's invisible? As in, yeah, I guess. He, as a person, is invisible in his clothing, right? Well, so would there be disembodied arrows running around? And very distinctive footprints as well. I see, I see what you're getting at. And I guess that depends on... Yeah, I guess that would be the case. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's see, Salazar I'm not is losing. going to run away further. He's going to get to the gate. Okay. Also, how tall is the wall in this place? Because I assume it's fucking huge. It's about 35, 40 feet, something like that. Okay. Um, he's invisible, so you don't really see what he does necessarily. 
But I do. Huh? Well, like, I you, bet I know what he does. You know where he is. Okay. Um, he's going to activate. For now, at least. Does kind of stop at the wall for a moment and look around, see what he can do. Um, he's going to actually turn, though, and run along the wall. Which way? North. This way. Have to walk? Towards. Up on the camera. Okay. So if I were gonna make the triangle, how far away is he from me? At this point to the wall from where you are is probably about to the window. To the wall? wall. Uh right. wow. my balls. In my fact, balls. go ahead and move his his dice up from the gate along the wall. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Yeah, about right there. So. Oh ski ski. Um, he's probably about 800, 850 feet away or so. You can still kind of know where he is, of course, because you're kind of smart. Okay. 800? Yeah. So when my turn comes around, I'm shooting like 770. So I'm going to do a damn good roll to do that. And over buildings. Wait, they're all buildings either way. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a serendipity roll. He's not covered though. He's just behind him. Okay, sorry. Um, the T Rex is going to move forward towards you guys. He's going to, to ignore any more. Rand. Just because he didn't really see you, Rand. Because that's Rand is tiny. It. And he's been taking damage from that direction, so he's going to move 50 feet Ooh. toward you guys. Okay. He's not close enough to hit it yet. He's close enough for her to reach, right? In a turn? He will be, yeah. yeah. Okay. Rand! It's hard for me to want the logic with her. It's a problem. Is my guy so calculated hmm. on everything I do and this is a hurt it hurts just like Arr! Okay, how far am I away from the T-Rex at this point? Fifty feet. About fifty feet. <clears throat> so yeah. You can hit it. I might want to do something complicated. Or maybe not. Double down. Okay. I still have a fire glint from a dragon. Um, I forgot about that. <laughs> I don't know what you do that for. I have no idea, but I like the fact that I have it. Maybe go to the um, magic people find out what we do with that. Can I have Bark do it, since I'm riding him, Bark do double move and then still have an attack from him? Uh, like move away? No, towards. Move 80 feet forward? Yeah. Which would be Bark's move? And then, and then I, want to, to I want to have an attack. Okay. Riding him. Okay. So you're going to move past him and in front. Actually, I want to move under him and to the side. But in the middle of my move, attack, I want to shoot one of my fire bolts, one of my four fire bolts, uh, while I'm underneath him. Into the taint. Yeah, pretty much. Well, yeah. Taint Stomach, stuff. taint, whatever, yeah. Okay. I thought it gives a whole new meaning to crotch fire. Uh, I, can't, I can't remember how much more my fire bolts do, but... 
Yeah. I think never. Usually when it comes to fire, like elemental damage, you can have a decent. Good deal. Good deal. That's what he's done mostly, but it's only if it's actually weak to it or flame for it. Hmm. Uh, elemental damage. I've got four flame if the bolts. Weak so. to it or if it actually catches fire. Like I mean, bugs was, were weak to fire, so they got the D6 of fire damage, right? Um, I yeah, figure since I'm underneath they're weak it, to fire, and I'm firing up into damage. the double damage. I'm firing up into its stomach. So it's it might be weaker it down there. The D6 in that case. Alright. Do I need okay, so just roll for hit regular? Yeah. Okay. Ha! Oh, that one. You spend it. Alright. That's Oops. your fireball, right? Yeah. With a fireball. Okay. You're gonna need a serendip. Give me a serendip and you roll with these. Not touching mine. Oh, those are cores. Come on, please. 54. 54, at least. That might be the first time I've ever done above yeah, that. 50. With. It was on camera, too. Yeah. It was weird. 54 is going to be... An, okay, so uh, you shoot it up, but just miss horribly. Right? Yeah. It's going to sail up and, like, over. Okay. Yeah, hit one of the buildings. Okay, so I've started a fire, the probably. Yeah. Huh? Kind of the sure. I can pick it up. <laughs> Maybe. I'm just checking on a couple of things here. Me too. But, so that would put me... Do me a favor, no. Alex. Here. No. And look at the range on Hunter's Mark. I think it has to be... When you cast it, it has to be within sight, but after that, it doesn't have to be. Alright, but it doesn't say anything about knowing exactly where they are. I just was looking at it to clarify. It's for, like, that's a level one spell. Board breaker. Uh, it has to be within 90 feet when you cast it. Mm -hmm. Until the spell ends, you get advantage to, to find it, mm -hmm. but it doesn't say that you always know exactly where they are. Okay. Uh, which is it's fine, I just didn't understand the spell earlier. Okay. Uh, okay. Right. So what uh, do I need Kyrie. to do when I do that? Huh? What do I need to do in that case when I do that? When you're going to... If I were gonna launch yes. one, yeah, if I was gonna launch one, uh, let me think about that. Okay, it's not your turn just yet. Yeah, uh, no, no, I'm just like I just need to roll. Yeah, I'm gonna Tyron, I'm gonna shoot it with an arrow. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a weak variant. but I usually don't. I had a but it's the variant. <laughs> it's an 18 without without bonus. Okay, fair enough. Good that's better than the last one. Yeah, that's what I, well, I the, do like that. The German one was really good. Four damage. Four. damage. Four. <laughs> Four. Just I can't do damage, apparently. Okay. I'm rolling fine. My damage sucks. Soren, we're going to have the guards go at the same time that you do, I think. Just for the sake there are guards? Yeah, there are guards now. There yeah. are guards. And there are like mysterious arrows floating in midair. They're piling out. So there's orbs. Things. And Something. they're gonna start shooting at the T-Rex. Yeah. And we're gonna say that there's, there's like a, we wouldn't need those. Twenty. I don't see why we need the guards actually. But you know whatever. Because the guards have to defend the city. I do want to make the guards. point that even though the, the this shit block. happened from it, I do still hold on to that note that summoned this thing. Okay. Well, like once, once the bark can still hold no. the sin off of it. Yeah, I like that. That it's, and it's magic. It's, it's well, in, yeah. It's, uh, I mean, I, I'm pretty it's sure it's going to be useless after location. this, but yeah. So the guards are going to do oh. 24 damage total. Those T-Rex. How many are there? 20, but not all of them yet. 
20 yards. Alright. <laughs> Balls. <laughs> we might have really gotten in over our head here, boys. <laughs> no. I know exactly. No, I should have just killed the basket on the first sword. Sword. What do I have to do if I'm going to attack him? Okay. Um, give me. I said if. Give me an attack roll, and then serendipity. You're kind of trying to estimate where he is, and you're basically just shooting over the buildings, and the hope that you're going to get him. Okay, I'm going to use a regular air with fire attached to it from my bolt cloth. Okay. Along with the move action, because gotcha. I'm going to touch it. 20. Not mass, but 20. Okay. Serendipity. There they are. 83! 83 is pretty nice. So fire arrow just... Alright. And I'm assuming he's wearing clothes. He is. Which is flammable. <sighs> Which Alrighty. is flammable. And uh, give me the damage roll. If it's flammable, do I get that as well? Because he's wearing clothes. I know. That's why I'm asking. Uh, yeah, yeah, why not? Ten, nineteen, and seven is twenty-six. Okay. And he should be on fire now, so very visible. Thank you. Assuming that you hit it. Assuming that. And you don't know. I, I don't know, but I fired. <laughs> and I'm <laughs> assuming because you let me roll these things, I hit him. But he's on fire now for other people at the wall to see. Baharash. Your Rex is getting closer. And so he moved 50. Don't kill him with fire. He tried that and it didn't work out well. Uh, he moved 50 and I moved 60 <laughs> on the last one. So we are now within... Shoot it! I'm thinking. How do, if I can. If I move another 30 up, that would be 90 from his 50. Look at Jesse doing that. I'm not doing math, I'm just saying numbers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing poor math. Yeah. Uh, I'm not even the only thing I'm at. Actually, I would be within range for my crossbow now. Mm hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. Crossbow. I wonder what this looks like to everybody else who's fighting the T Rex. They're all fighting, and I'm running along going, What's this? That's <laughs> 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 probably not. It's not actually. I missed. No. <laughs> I rolled a ten. Oh. I rolled a six on the dice and then plus three. God. It's no good. It happens. Huh? It's nine. You are correct. <laughs> I'm tired. I've been up since nine a.m. Fair enough. <laughs> actually, no. I've been up since eight. Gotcha. I guess that, that sounds a lot better. I went to work at nine. Yeah, I've been up at nine, dude. Herc. Yeah, but nobody likes you. Herc's gonna move forward and hit. Can Herc can attack now? Uh, with the move, with a full movement forward, yeah. A full movement. So yeah, like like one one, one movement and an attack. Yeah, cool. Does a rage count as a? No, that's a minor action. He can rage. He can rage. He's gonna rage then. Makes uh, sense. What does rage do? You can attack twice. He only uh, not yet. he only will do that's weapons. Frenzy. Doesn't he? Yeah, he has two yeah. swords. Because right. he has two swords, he can hit twice. That's right. Yeah, he has All two right. swords. What does rage do? He uh, he takes half damage from physical damage. Right. Really nice. What does that do to his attack? Um, he will get plus two to his damage. Plus two to his damage. So. Okay, he's gonna focus both attacks. I guess he's approaching it from its right side. Yeah. He's gonna attack its right leg. Okay. Preferably the back side of the right leg, where it's nice and you know. To try right. hamstring. Oh, we are so gonna hamstring on some bitch. Uh, what do I add to that? The sword. Ah. I don't know what he has. You want me to use a... So, miss on one and 12 and 6 is... 18. 18, 18 on one. Okay, what do I roll for damage for that? It's D8 plus... Let me see. D8 plus 4 times 2? Is that what it is? No, it's not times 2. It's plus 2, I think. Because of the rage. It's, it's times 2 because he, he can't hit twice. It's yeah. It's one d eight plus. Uh, it's actually going to be plus seven because he actually gets plus three with his rage. So a d eight plus seven. Doubled up. Huh? 
Huh? The A plus seven? Yeah. Uh. So four and seven is eleven. Eleven. Very mm -hmm. good. I don't understand. Rose young. Sometimes he just rolls and things happen. Yeah. Really go. <laughs> Thank you. You do. He does make a, a pretty good gash, but it's still on me. So it's it's still good to go. Swing harder next time. Yeah. Um, Raziel does the exact same thing. He's, he, gonna, he's gonna step into the other roadway and, and fire yeah. at the back. Okay. It's that's Raziel, right? Yeah. No, that's not. No, Raziel has a bow. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna step out to the and fires his arrow, which is okay. Like I said, uh, plus nice. nine. Huh. Eleven. Nope. Missed by two. Eleven's not enough. We are and just he does stellar, not hit. aren't we? Yeah, no, we're not doing fantastically. What is Herc's AC? Seventeen, right? Eighteen. 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 Yeah, okay. Herc has high AC. Go do that too. He, the T-Rex is going to bite at him and attack some of the guard with his tail. Nah. It's far too coordinated for a T-Rex. Mm. It's an I-Rex, I'm telling you. No, I'll Rex well, you. I mean, I could do both against... No, no, I was no, just curious. No, like, no. It just seemed like odd that he could you know, coordinate hit himself. on the bite, which is going to do... Do you know how many Herc's dead when he wakes up? I'm doing my best here, man. I'm firing in the dark at some dude on the wall. <laughs> Inspiration musics. He's going to kill any, any of them at all. Like any of the other ones at all. He's going to kill nope. two of the guards. Oh, because they did so fucking much with twenty of them out there. Hey. Every, what was the other spell you had that Every little bit helps, damage? man. Every little bit helps. Nothing. All right. Yeah, one that, that went for attack damage and one that went for Brand? That's damage it. damage. That's inspiration. <laughs> I can't do inspiration anymore. Okay. Let's I can't use the dog. Brand. Bot. I don't know how much HP a T-Rex has. That's true. And how much we've damaged it. Not a lot. Also true. <laughs> but apparently it's weak to fire. Nobody's done fire damage to it yet. You were going to let him roll. Yeah, I read body language. Got yeah. one more fucking spell slot. Okay. Where's a D10? I'm gonna need a D10. That to be a. That to be ten. Okay. After dodging under his belly and missing that shot horribly, throw out my hand again and cast a color spray at him. Okay. Which is six D10 HP. I'm just gonna roll one and times it by ten. 6d10? Yeah, so six six. roll one and divide it by No, see, it's 6d10. Yeah. HP to blind him. Right, but you're rolling a d10 and you're going to multiply it by 6. Right? Yeah, that's what I meant, yeah. Yeah, okay. That's that fine. seems like a terrible plan, but okay. 60. 60. Alright. As Does right. it do anything to him? What does color spray do? It it blinds him. Oh. Uh, if it's, if it's equal to... The, equal to or greater than the yeah. HP, right? Yeah. Color spray? I'm pretty sure that's what it does. He has, at the present, he still has more than 68 points. That's so. disappointing because that was a really good roll. And that was yeah, a really it good was roll. a really good roll. <laughs> These spells are shitty. I need to pick better spells. <laughs> well, this is a big, this is a big nasty. Right. Um, I, wait, am I reading that right then, Jesse? Um, Until two. next time. Because we're out of time. Bone Bay Tuna? Later. Not Bone Bay Tuna. Oh, that's right. Bone Bay Tuna is the internet. Later. Bye. No, that's the 